Hello, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Dark Souls. Uh, let's see. I just got through beating Artorias. It is a very happy occasion for me. Uh, and now we're staring down into Ulusil, it appears. Home of many blue-headed enemies. But first, let's uh, run back a little bit and uh, explore the area where Artorias was. Because I believe there are some things to be found. This is the way to the uh, Battle of Stoicism, which is the PvP area. You sure into that? Now, of course, my uh, my game has not been online for a while, just because uh, I'm not e not exactly uh, having the best internet at the moment. If I ever do get around to my blind let's play of uh, Dark Souls 2, though, it'll definitely be on all the time. But. Uh, yeah, I, I don't uh, have any plans for the online component during this playthrough, so I've uh, not uh, stressed too much about it being off. Now, there should be a couple of uh, shinies up in here. Let's take a look. Soul of a Hero. And I believe the room where we can uh, find one of the uh, four Knights of Gwyn is over here. Now, it'll be locked, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I'm not quite certain where the key for that lock, uh, the key for that lock is located in the uh, game. I'm fairly confident that it's probably somewhere uh, in Lusil or uh, towards the abyss. But uh, if you wanted to ask me exactly where it was, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I've forgotten. <laughs> We're gonna have to search for it, it seems. Ah, there's also uh, this lady, the uh, Lord Karim, I think her name was, and she is just mourning Arthorius' grave. Now, uh, if you give her the soul of Arthorius, she'll give you her two weapons, so the gold and silver traces. Uh, the problem with that is uh, you could uh, get them anyway just by uh, murdering her <laughs> without actually uh, going through the trouble of actually... Uh, giving her the soul. And then you'd get her armor as well, which would be nice. But, uh, yeah, I don't have uh, much use for any of it. But if you want her stuff, uh, I would recommend just uh, killing her, not actually uh, trying to deal with her. If you don't mind giving up Arthorius' soul just for uh, easy weapons, then uh, you could go that way. Perfectly fine thing to do. And the only other way to go is down to uh, the valley where Calamite is. And uh, it's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to go down here for a sec. And there should be uh, dogs and wolves and other things of interest here. I've forgotten exactly what kind of enemies they are, except that they're some sort of dog. Hopefully I won't make a mess of this. Yeah, they are essentially just the same uh, model as undead dogs, just not quite undead in this case. Okay, there we go. That was, uh, I was worrying over nothing, that wasn't too difficult. For some reason I uh, remembered them as being a bit worse than that, but all as well. Much like the undead dogs though, they do have spastically long range on their eyes. I'll see you coming from miles away, if they can. I don't know what these little crystal things are. Near the abyss. Now, I don't know how that missed. Wait a minute. Can you stop it? Yeah. 
That's better. God damn it. Stop making this harder than it is. Now, this would be where Calamite's boss door is. But, uh, that only appears where, uh, when he's on the ground. If he's still flying around, then you won't really be able to fight him. You'll just be flying through the valley like that. <laughs> nope. That was supposed to be a plunging attack, but it looks like it wasn't. You gonna come down, Calamite? Or is he gonna wait for me to do it? I was just sort of hoping I could uh, grab that crystal lizard, but uh, that's not the only thing I was going to attempt to do. Now, Calamite's damage is actually magical rather than fire. That's my strongest magic defense. Just to see if I can run across the, uh, the valley floor this one time. It's like the painting guardian hood. Which is weird, but hey. Pavels are given. And you got ones. What else we got? Magical defenses. Santos waste spot, huh? Now oh, that's an odd, odd assembly I've just put together. Now, don't get me wrong, I have a fairly good idea that this will probably kill me in one hit and I won't get anywhere, but I'm going to try for it. Because Calamite is not for the faint of heart. It should be coming. Comes. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. Okay. Is that the best you got? If that's all you got, I'm going to take your other stuff too. Oh. Ow. Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's the way he does it. However, you may notice I just got a Titanite slab. Hooray! Now I can upgrade my lightning weapon to plus fifth, uh, to its maximum. So I've got a maximum lightning and a maximum physical attack uh, weapon. Which is all I wanted. I did lose a whole buttload of souls, but uh, you know, easy come, easy go. Let's put the black armor back on. Yep. I don't have the blue. Uh, stone plate do I? Could possibly be useful around here, but I'll uh, leave that alone for now. Uh, is there anything else apart from maybe killing Lord Blade Clarion? It seems a bit cheap too, because I don't really want her armor at the moment, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll just go do it anyway. What's the harm? bother talking to her about it either. Let's just, uh... <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please. Then I shall do the same. Ooh, that's some bleed.
Don't know if that's a lot of damage or not very much damage, all things considered. <laughs> She's not having luck rolling away from me, is she? Big three strike, it seems to be your uh, big weak point. Nope. Oh. Kicking me with that when I don't have a shield isn't going to do much for you. That does you. No? Seems like I'm just so strong I can just uh, strafe around her when she's attacking. I'm not really worry about the rest of it. Damn it, she takes a lot of health though. How? You, you what do you mean how? It's pretty self explanatory. I hit you until your form dissolved. Yeah, this this satchel armor set is kind of cool. I have to admit, I did like wearing it, but I don't think it has any particular uh, stat advantage. Yeah, it's got pretty good resist, I guess. And hey, it's light. Okay, if I wear the whole thing, you'll get a better idea. But. Where is this? There it is. Lord Blade. Lord Blade's always cloth. Okay. Yeah, yeah like, I think it's pretty cool. It's probably just not gonna defend me very well there. <laughs> anyway. Sartorius' so grave still just sort of chilling. Yep. No. Oh well. So this is also the place where we fight Sif in the future, I guess. Since that's where the grave is. Very neat piece of trivia. Let's see. I guess it's time to stop putting it off. To tell you the truth, the next area does frighten me a little. I don't know uh, how well I shall do here. Ow. Oh well, they're not uh, too hard to stagger. That's a good sign. They do stagger me pretty good. Oh. Probably not the best time to pick that up, but... There we go. Ow! Still alive? 
Okay. Consider myself corrected. Yeah, I think we need uh, to take this seriously off the bat. Also, I notice uh, my bonfire at the moment is not reliable. Alright, you mask of the child. Thank you. Silly. Stop that. We've been through this before. We know what armor works. Is that your do we? <laughs> I must keep going past it. It must be really annoying for the people who are actually watching and can see it. They're like, no, you went past it. Well, too bad. I do as I please. Now, what else have we got here? Ooh, I already got 12,000 souls. These guys must pay out big. Yeah, I think that's a shortcut. But I don't know where it's shortcut to. Oh, that's right. There's also the uh, Red Phantom incident here uh, we can have in this area. That I'd forgotten about. Although there's no hurry to have it since the boss of this area is still far away. And uh, there's also no uh, reward for doing it, unfortunately. The Phantom doesn't drop anything. And those black fireballs are. Uh, Abyss Sorceries, which are a combination of uh, magical and physical damage, if I remember my uh, stuff correctly. Oh. Roll at the wrong time. Oh. Are you serious? One shot. Hey. Wow, this is quite a predicament. You here, yeah? so you become that there. Yeah. Yes, I can see you, stupid blow dead. Large Titanite Shard. Soul of the Red Warrior. Oh, I guess I must have got all those souls off uh, Karm. Why am I... I should also learn how to say her name. And be actual, actually be confident at uh, knowing that that is her name. And that it was a she in the first place. Because all those things are kind of up for question at the moment. I'm feeling very confused. <laughs> this entire place roughly confuses me. place with the hidden wall. That would be very easy to uh, check any uh, wall, as it were. All I gotta do is put this on. And then when I run into the hidden wall that needs a light source, there will be no trouble. Sunlight Mega is awesome. <laughs> I'd wear it all the time if its, it's stats weren't so crappy. Again later. Wait a sec. Oh, good. Sorry, I was just checking my run time. Don't want to uh, overdo it or undo it. Now 
Now you're clearly a mimic. Oh, wait. And I do a second jump and attack without wanting to. That's bizarre. Terribly creative, this one. So, I need to be careful too, or I'll, uh... Done in by my own uh, not terribly fond of fighting in a lack of space like this, but doesn't look like anything bad's gonna happen. What? That was not supposed to be a kick. Lucky you didn't grab me there. Uh, yay! These are very fun items. These are added with the DLC so that you can communicate with uh, people uh, that you might be playing with as a phantom. So you put them in your hotbar and you uh, use them. Very good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah, I think that over there is the wall that I need to get to. But how do I get to it? That will be the million dollar question. Uh -huh. There's always the roll down there and hope method. Anything more reliable? The roll off here and hope method? Nope. Indeed it was, but I don't need to know that right now. Drop down or around or wherever. Let's do this carefully. So it's not to anger the various gods who are uh, waiting with their finger on the button, so to speak. Ow. What was that? Cocky ones. They are. And I believe downstairs is a little dangerous. So, let's continue onward over here for a sec. I think there's a sorcery or something downstairs. The system message let there be light. If you uh, have the Skull Lantern, or the Sunlight Maggot, or the Light Spell, or some way of illuminating the area, then you can open up the secret door. No, I don't believe they were nasty enough to put a trap here, but knowing my memory, the Silver Pendant. Hooray! The other very good item that you, uh... Like, uh, it's possible to get through the DLC content without the Silver Pendant. But to be perfectly honest, if you're a new player to the DLC, you should definitely come and get this one. What it does, is you put it in your inventory, and uh, when you use it, you'll very quickly get this sort of aura around you. And it deflects any uh, dark-based magic. Which, coincidentally, is what those, uh, those guys that I've been killing here have been throwing at me. Which means, you can uh, deflect you can, I wouldn't say it throws it back at them, but, uh... Oop. See, I mistimed it there, but... The idea was I would use the pendant first. Before they had a chance to, uh... Do anything too sneaky. No, I'm doing it very badly. <laughs> it's like, take my word for it, it does work. But I'm having too much faith in it at the moment. You 
can spam it like crazy if you want to. See? They're bouncing off now. It's an infinite use item too, so go ahead and abuse it all you want. End of demonstration. <laughs> and you get the Dark Old Miracle, uh, or Pyromancy for your trouble. I think that's Pyromancy. There are a couple, there's like one or two Abyss Pyromancies and a couple of Abyss Sorceries added in the DLC. I don't think there's any uh, Abyss Miracles, because that would be <laughs> kind of strange. Mind you, in this game, you never know. I wish I'd uh, been more of a spellcaster type. I'd be able to uh, tell you these things. Alas, I am not. I am just a guy. Now, I'm completely out of Estus and everything else, so rather than struggle to find my way back, let's just go back for a second. and see if I can recoup. Yeah, the sunlight magnet is no longer necessary. What happens if I just put it on the black eye now? Would I still be able to... Yeah, I can still roll with it. I'm, I'm getting pretty, uh, buff. As far as my endurance goes, still, more endurance regen is a very nice thing to have. So I'll keep the Mask of the Child with me for the moment. What else do we have? I'm heading towards Chester. There isn't really much point to the Chester Phantom, but I guess I could at least show oh, it to you. Think of anything. do need some more humanity so long. just to keep the bonfires up. Perhaps I can use a uh, soul. Yep, exactly the amount I needed. Oh, I think Chester does overcharge for everything that he sells, but uh, so he long. does appear to have a bottomless amount of viable humanity, which is useful. And he sells everything you need if you want to actually uh, play in the PvP arena. So I'll go human once to uh, at least uh, kindle the bonfire. And then I'll head down as a human. I'll probably run into Chester. And he might kill me or he may not kill me. We'll see what happens. He is a... He's probably the hardest phantom invader there is. Just because he was added in the DLC and his stats are very high. And he has a couple of uh, unique uh, abilities that only he can use. But we'll see. He's like a bad version of a Tuxedo Mask, I think. Is how I would sum him up. I throw roses and wear a top hat. I am awesome. Something like that. I am human. Kindle. Huzzah. 